Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at these Cadillacs, Walmart exclusives. I finally found this set, even have a bonus Escalade. Let's get most of them cracked open and take them for a spin. I said most of them is I already promised the Cadillac 1 also known as the Beast and this white Cadillac Escalade to a friend of mine so we'll put these two aside those I'm going to have to ship out but we'll go ahead and open up the rest of these and take them for a spin And right off the bat, I have to say, the uh, art on the cards is just lovely. Every one of these looks fantastic. If you're the kind of collector that keeps your cars in the package, you'll probably like every one of these. But the artwork is just fantastic on each and every one. Look at that. Um, I almost want to keep the set in the package myself, even though I don't collect them that way. They do look really cool. Let's go ahead and open up the Cadillac CTS wagon. Beautiful metal flake paint job. Nice big sunroof on top. Very nicely detailed in the back, as you can see here. Got all the emblems, tail lights, license plate, Cadillac logos. Very detailed front as well. Alright, let's move on to our next Cadillac. Since we get a newer car, we'll move on to the other Escalade next. This Escalade in gray has been out for at least two or three years, but this is the first time I've seen it packaged up in the Walmart exclusive packaging. And the same with the white version. That's been out for a couple of years too. I remember getting that in a five pack. Wow. Very nice. I really like the detail on the back. You can see that it plainly says Escalade very clearly. And the tail lights look great. This white one is from my own collection that I got out of a five pack a couple years ago. I thought I would go ahead and add it alongside this one so we could see them both together. It looks like the most major difference between the two are the rims and the body color, of course. They both have a nice metal flake paint job. Kind of hard to see here on the white one, but it is a really nice color as well. You might be able to see that it's kind of a pearl white with the metal flake. I think I like the pearl white one a little bit better. A little flashier looking. Both are very nice. Okay, let's move on to some of the older model Cadillacs. Um, 
We'll start with the 75 next and work our way down from there. I really love the color on this. It's a great color. Great casting. This looks a lot like the Johnny Lightning casting. Very similar. As you can see, it's loaded with lots of great detail. I like the chrome going down the side, on the mid area, and on the bottom. You can see the Cadillac logo on the back. Very nice, you can see the turning lights. It has the iconic Cadillac grille in chrome, which I really love. I'm glad that's not molded plastic. Beautiful classic design convertible. Just amazing. The black interior looks perfect with the yellow exterior. I like the wheel choice. Pretty good for plastic wheels. I also like that the windshield is kind of a tinted smoke color. Makes it look a little classier. This also reminds me of the Cadillac from the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I think the one in the movie may have been a 74, but they both are very similar and were front wheel drive cars as well. Imagine this big old car, front wheel drive. Huh. These things are amazing. Alright, up next is a 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood. This reminds me of the movie Driving Miss Daisy for some reason. Well, because there was one like this in the movie. Just a different color. I like that this has a dark colored top. This is also available in a 10 pack I've seen a few times. And some other, some other versions of this that Matchbox has made. I have another one that's almost the same color blue and it says something across the trunk lid. I can't remember exactly what it says though. Anyway, let's get this one cracked open and take it for a spin. Definitely one of the best Cadillacs ever made. And these things are huge. It's almost like a limousine with four doors. Love the big tail lights. Oh, look at the license plate. Nicely detailed. Beautiful blue color. Actually, looks like the color you might have seen on these in the 50s. I can't complain because this was only like a dollar or something, but this one line going down the door and up to the front fender, that should all be chrome. You can see it in the body lines. Maybe I'll take a paintbrush and paint that in, make it look a little more detailed, but still, I mean, I'm not complaining. That looks fantastic. You know what it is. It's an iconic car that everyone knows just about, even if the chrome's not painted in. Wow, I don't think they'll ever make cars that are this impressive, looks-wise, anyway, ever again. I love the big bullets on the front bumper. That's why this is such an iconic vehicle. I guess about 55 through 58, they all had those and on the Cadillacs anyway. Nice wheel choice for this one. Cars were just loaded with so much style back then. Let's move on to our last piece. That's going to be the 1941 Cadillac. This is also one of my favorite Cadillac castings that Matchbox has put out. I got this one maybe a couple of years ago in green. And they also have released this in a yellow 
version. I saw that on Instagram. I'd like to find the yellow one. It's in the same series, just a different color release. It seems like every one of these cars has reminded me of a movie. This reminds me of like The Godfather. And this also reminds me of The Karate Kid for some reason. The yellow car that he ended up polishing, which may have not even been like this. I just remember it being a yellow convertible. This has got the beautiful metal flake blue paint with a tan interior, a slightly tinted front windshield, they did, however, put all the chrome on this one. You can see the chrome on the fenders, up on the hood, along the bottom, and that's all painted on. Very nice. You can see the rear end this has this torpedo body style. A lot of the cars in the mid 40s were long, low, and lean. Very nice looking. Just beautiful. Here's another good shot of the paint finish. Looks very nice. And I love the painted headlights. That's a nice detail. Very nice casting. All right, here they are all together. Sorry I didn't open up the Cadillac one. If I hadn't promised that to someone else, we could have opened it. Unfortunately, I was only able to find one. I don't know how I managed to find a whole set in the store. I mean, it took me, I guess, about three or four months to find these. I've been seeing them on Instagram for a long time. Um, if, if you can't find them in stores, which they are hard to find, you could probably find them on eBay. Um, I have a few extra, but not many. I, like I say, I only have one complete set. They're hard to get. You might be able to get a couple from my eBay store, or you could probably find them all on eBay if you have the patience to search. Or if you're really patient, maybe you can find them in the store. It's interesting. These are all Cadillacs. And I, even though these are probably colors that Matchbox may have made up, they're not too far from reality. They used to make cars in nice, pretty, vibrant colors. Now everything's just, I don't know. I don't even know, I can't even come up with the words to describe it. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll be talking to you soon.